A's point estimation guidelines from adaptive processes. This video tutorial will explain concepts behind the use case point estimation, also abbreviated as UCP estimation, with the help of an example. First, let's understand what are use cases before delving into UCP estimation. Use cases are very popular technique to describe features of a solution. Key concepts behind use case are actors, that is, users who use the system, and use cases, functions that the system provides. Actors represent a coherent set of roles that users play when interacting with the system. Actors can be a human being, another system, or time. Use case describes of a set of sequence of actions that a system performs that yields an observable result of value to a particular actor. Here we present a sample use case of a project control system. The project control system is used by team member, project manager, program manager, and the invoice system. Each one of these can be considered as an actor. Similarly, various actors perform different activities on the system each one of which is represented by an elliptical figure. For example, set up project is an use case used by project manager. Now that we understand what is an use case, let's understand use case point estimation. Use case point estimation method was introduced by Karner to estimate the software size. Use case points are estimated based on the actors and the use cases under scope of the project. Following broad steps are followed to estimate UCP for a project. Step 1. Classify actors. Step 2. Classify use cases. Step 3. Calculate technical complexity factors. Step 4. Calculate environmental complexity factors. Step 5. Calculate UCP. We will discuss each step in subsequent sections. Actors are classified based upon their complexity as simple, average, or complex. External system that must interact with the system using a well-defined API is considered as simple. External system that must interact with the system using standard communication protocols such as TCP, IP, FTP, HTTP, or database is considered as average. Human actor using a GUI application interface is considered as complex. As you see, simple actors are provided with weight 1, average 2 and complex 3. Total unadjusted actor weights, UAW, is calculated by counting the number of actors in each kind and multiplying each total by its weighting factor and adding up the products. In our sample project control system, all actors except finance system are considered as complex and assigned an weight of 3. Finance system is considered as average and assigned an weight of 2. Total unadjusted actor weights is 11. Now let's understand use case counting rules. Individual use cases are categorized as simple, average, or complex, and weighted depending on the number of steps they contain, including alternative flows. A transaction is set of activities, which is either performed entirely or not at all. Use case steps can be used to count the number of transactions. Use case type is simple for three or fewer transactions, and the factor is 5. Use case type is average for 4 to 7 transactions, and the factor is 10. Use case type is complex for more than 7 transactions and the factor is 15. Another way to identify the complexity of the use case is as follows. If a use case involved a simple user interface and touches only a single database entity, then the use case is marked as simple with the rating 5. If a use case involved more interface design and interacts with two or more database entities, then the use case is identified as average with the rating 10. If a use case involved a complex user interface or process and touches three or more database entities, then the use case is identified as complex with the rating 15. For the sample use case, total use case weight is 55. Some use cases are classified as simple, some as average, and some complex. The unadjusted use case points is calculated by summing up actor weight factor and use case weight factor. For the sample case, it is 66. Calculate the UUCP for each module of the project. Finally, add the entire individual module UUCPS to get the total UUCP for the project. Technical complexity factor indicate factors originating from technical complexity of the project. Each factor is assigned a value between 0 and 5 depending on its assumed influence on the project. 
The technical complexity factor, TCF, is calculated multiplying the value of each factor in the table by its weight and then adding all these numbers to get the sum called the T factor. The formula for TCF is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.01 multiplied by D factor. As you see, the technical complexity factors mostly relate to non-functional requirements for the project such as distributed system, response time, or throughput performance objectives etc. For the sample case, T factor is calculated as 1.05 using the formula provided. Environmental complexity factors originate from project environment. This table shows the weightage given for each environmental factor. The environmental complexity factor, ECF, is calculated similar to TCF. The formula for ECF is ECF equals 1.4 minus 0.03 multiplied by ECF. For the sample case, ECF is 1.26. The adjusted use case points, UCP, are calculated as follows. UCP equals UUCP multiplied by TCF multiplied by ECF. For the sample case, UCP is 87. Thank you for undergoing the video tutorial on UCP estimation from adaptive processes. For any further help or clarification, please feel free to contact us at info at adaptiveprocesses.com. Use case point estimation guidelines. Page 2 of 3.